All right, so the question is, is this small thing actually worth the money? So here's a quick answer. If you have a lot of money available and you can easily afford it without taking away from anything else you could have bought with that money, then sure, go ahead, buy it. It's absolutely worth the money you have. So stop watching the video and just go and buy it if you can easily afford it. But if, and there's one really big if, uh, but first let me actually put this back. But if you're a smaller content creator, or for example, you're a streamer on Twitch and you just got your first payout in Twitch and, and it took you like six months to achieve it. And now the first thing you wanna buy with your hard earned money is a stream deck, then you might wanna stop for a second and think about it because I don't think it will be worth it for you. Let me explain. First of all, let's take a look at why Stream Deck is something that everyone could benefit from. It basically acts as an additional keyboard, but with a little bit more fanciness, if that's even a word. One great thing about it is that it pretty much has infinitely more buttons than your actual keyboard has. So let's take a regular Stream Deck for example. Even though it looks like it only has 15 buttons, then in reality we can have 15 folders on those 15 buttons here. And then within each of those folders we can add even more folders. So basically we can add almost infinite folders I guess until you discover a black hole or something. All right so the second thing is that there's so much customizability within Stream Deck. I promise you once you get a Stream Deck you will never get bored of it. For example I set a macro for both of my monitors where whenever I press a key on the, my Stream Deck it automatically extends my screen to the second monitor and when I press it again it automatically closes the second monitor. And another example is actually my favorite feature on the Stream Deck and it is that with a press of a button I can clip my last 30 seconds of my Twitch stream and then it automatically posts the clip on my Twitch chat for everyone else to instantly see or react to the insane or funny or whatever moment just happened on the stream. I can really tell that my Twitch viewers have been super happy about this feature. Now at this point you're probably questioning why did I even tell you to think about it and why not just go and instantly buy it if it's that great. But before you do that, make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people who need to see this video can see it. And also subscribe if you haven't yet. It's free and you can you can unsubscribe later if you want. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop teasing you now and I'm gonna tell you how it really is. First thing, while I already told you that there are like bazillion uh, different features and customization options, then I really only use like four of them. <laughs> I use four buttons on the Stream Deck regularly. And the reason for this is, well, maybe I'm just a simple person and I, I don't need much, but also, for example, with Spotify. I have a Spotify uh, pause and play button right here, but I still find myself actually opening the Spotify desktop application and just manually doing it with my mouse click click the click you know and I guess it's it's just a habit that I can't get rid of I, I have no idea and another example I edit all my videos myself in Adobe Premiere Pro so I have like 15 buttons for the Premiere Pro to make my edit easier but I still find myself using the mouse and the keyboard because it's much more fluid and I find that an actual keyboard is much more faster for editing than than the Stream Deck. It literally took me an hour to set all the Adobe Premiere Pro keybinds on the Stream Deck and I, I think I've only used it twice, literally. When I first got my Stream Deck, I was super hyped because I was thinking like, wow, I'll probably never have to use a keyboard again because I have so many customization options and I can set everything up in the exact way I want and I'll have everything I need just right here. But in reality, I don't even use it that much. Pretty much all I use my Stream Deck for is switching scenes whenever I stream. But that's really something you can easily do on a keyboard as well. And you really don't need a 150 euro device for this. And I guess then, like I mentioned earlier, I use it to clip things on my streams, which is kind of nice. Then I also use it to uh, enable or disable preview in OBS Studio. I use it to switch between my two monitors. And then also it's it's a pretty cool feature that I can actually see through my stream deck who is currently streaming on Twitch, who is live. And, and then within a press of a button, I can directly go to their channel and start watching their stream. You know, which again is kind of cool. That's really like five things I actually use in my everyday life. And I believe that most Stream Deck users have the same experience where they have a bunch of functions, but they only really use a couple of them in everyday life. And everything else is there just because you can. Like for example, I have, a, I have an actual clock, analog clock right here on my, on my Stream Deck. I don't think I've ever even taken a look at it 
because why would I? I have one on my screen. But but it's here because I can. So yeah, I don't I don't know what to say. Like, do you really need to spend 140, 150 euros just so you can have a few extra buttons? I don't I don't think so. Like instead, you could save that money and buy something else that you would actually benefit from. And with that comes the second reason why you might want to reconsider buying the Stream Deck. Ask yourself this question: Are you 100% sure that there's not anything else that you could buy with that money? that could be even more beneficial for your content or your streams or whatever. For example, if you're a small streamer, think about what you could buy with that money that would 100% benefit not just you, but also your viewers. What I mean here is that with that kind of money, you could buy a really good microphone or a really good lighting setup, for example, that would actually change your stream for the better. Like some really good USB microphones in today's age are actually really cheap. For example, my my Razer Siren Mini that I use for my streams cost me 50 euros. But it took my stream quality literally to a next level. And even though the stream deck cost me three times more money, then the stream deck added nowhere near as much value to the stream than my microphone did. Like to really paint a picture then, yes, when I can switch scenes with my stream deck, it's, it's really comfortable for me, but the viewers won't notice it anyways. So if you don't have an abundance of money, then make sure you prioritize the things that actually take your content and your streams to the next level and where the viewers can really see the difference and benefit from it. If you're still 100% sure that you absolutely want to get the stream deck, then why are we even watching this video? I mean, go for it. Why not? I like the stream deck. It's it's super good. It's fun. I do think that most streamers or even content creators should eventually get one. But if you're currently thinking that, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure about it anymore, then that probably means you should spend your money in other ways right now and then come back to the stream deck sometime later. If this video helped you, then make sure to leave a like on this video so more people can see it and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't yet. This is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. GG.